Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my reaction video for the West Bromwich Albion vs Chelsea match and um, I'm going to be kicking it off with my team sheet reaction, sorry for stuttering there, and since West Bromwich Albion are taking us on at the Hawthorns, I'm going to be kicking off my team sheet reaction by giving you guys the West Bromwich Albion starting 11, I'll then be giving you guys the Chelsea starting 11, I will be giving you guys the two benches in the exact same order, and lastly, I'll be giving you guys a recap of the two starting 11s. Um, I don't actually know all the first names of the West Bromwich Albion players, so I'm just going to read out all of their surnames instead. But yes, I'm getting straight into the West Bromwich Albion starting eleven, and as always, starting off with the formation. They have gone with a 5-4-1 according to one football, although I know that they've used it before. But yes, they've gone with Johnston and goal. They've gone with a back five, including the wing backs from right to left of Furlong, Ajayi, I don't know how you pronounce that or if I've pronounced it correctly, Bartley, O'Shea and Townsend. They've gone with a midfield four from right to left of Pereira, Livermore, Sawyers and Diangana, sorry for starting there again, um, with, Robert, with Robinson up front by himself. Um, now for the Chelsea team, again starting off with the formation, it is a 4-2-3-1, although on the one football app it says it's a 4-4-2, I'm not so sure if that's correct, but again, I'll be able to confirm that um, during the match. Um, but in terms of the players Frank Lampard has chosen, he's gone with Willy Caballero in goal. He's gone with a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Andres Christensen, Thiago Silva and Marcos Alonso. He's gone with a double pivot of Mateo Kovacic and N'Golo Kante. And I think he's gone with an attacking midfoot... An, I think he's gone with an attacking midfield trio from right to left of Mason Mount, Kai Havertz and Timo Werner with Tammy Abraham up front by himself. Now for the two benches, starting off with the West Bromwich Albion bench. Again, I don't know all the names of the I don't know all the first names of their players, like I've said already, so um I'm just gonna read out their surnames. Um they've got um Slavin Bilic has gone with Robson Carnu, Phillips, Harper, Edwards, Keepre, I don't know how you pronounce that or if I've pronounced it correctly, Button and Field on the bench for the baggies. And Frank Lampard has placed Kepo, Jorginho, Ross Barkley, Fakayo Tomori, Olivier Giroud, Callum Hudson-Odoi and Cesar Aspilicueta on the bench for the Blues. <sighs> two, strong, two strong benches, I must say. Um, now for the recap of the two starting 11s. Kicking it off with the West Bromwich Albion starting 11. A 5-4-1 for them. Johnston and goal. A back five from right to left of Furlong, Ajayi, Bartley, um, O'Shea and Townsend. A midfield four from right to left of um, Pereira, Livermore, Sawyers and Diangana with Robinson up front by himself. Now for the Chelsea team again, 4-2-3-1 um, for us I, su I suspect, um, Willy Caballero in goal, a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Andreas Christensen, Thiago Silva and Marcos Alonso, a double pivot of Mateo Kovacic and N'Golo Kante with an attacking midfield trio from right to left of Mason Mount, Kai Havertz and Timo Werner with Tammy Abraham up front by himself. It's a strong team for us. It's a, it's a, it's a strong team for them. Yes, they do have suspensions, but I, I, I said it in my preview. We, re we really should be getting the job done and this team should be getting the job done against West Bromwich Albion, but we'll just have to see. Hopefully we get the job done. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy the rest of this reaction video. just begun come on you blues get the job done in the black country and get yourselves back to winning ways in the premier league come on chelsea <sighs> not a good start at all because it's west bromwich albion one it's chelsea nil um Callum robinson puts the ball into the back of the net from close range or just on the edge of the box shall i say um there are two Chelsea players to blame for this, Marcos Alonso and Rich James. Uh, Marcos Alonso for giving the ball away and Rich James for not getting tight enough to Callum Robinson. But yes, it was a good strike. But yes, poor defending um, from the fullbacks. But yes, West Bromwich Albion lead by one goal to nil. And that is my prediction out of, out of the window inside five minutes. Tammy Abraham has a chance to equalise. 
following a brilliant cross from Rhys James down on our right hand side but he could only hit the ball high and wide. Unlucky because you can see what he was trying to do but you can argue that he could have done better. But yes, Tammy Abraham has had a chance to, to equalise and make it 1-1. Almost 15 minutes have been played and Timo Werner also has a chance to equalise for the Blues following a cross from Mason Mounts down our right hand side. Um, it was a good shot and a very unlucky one because it did um, end up going off the crossbar and going out for a goal kick. But yes, it was a good chance and I don't think he could have hit that any sweeter. But yes, it's still 1-0 to West Bromwich Albion. Just over 21 minutes have been played. West Bromwich Albion have been very hard to break down and to be honest with you guys, I hate to say it, but Chelsea really haven't found their rhythm yet. They haven't really got going. Yes, we have strung a few attacks together, but our passing hasn't been quite at it so far and we've struggled to, to open them up. But yes, um, West Bromwich Albion have been very good defensively so far. It's West Bromwich Albion 2, it's Chelsea 0. Callum Robinson gets a brace after he takes the ball off of Thiago Silva and I don't know how we allowed Callum Robinson to have that much space. Uh, most of our players were, were high up the pitch and just, just, again, poor defending. You can't blame Willie Caballero for this because he did his best to try and stop it from going in. But um, it, it went underneath him and into the bottom left corner on his on Callum Robinson's side. But yes, West Bromwich Albion lead by two goals to nil. And with the way we've been playing, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything. But hopefully that changes. But yes, like I've said already, West Bromwich Albion lead by two goals to nil. Not good enough. It just gets worse for us. West Bromwich Albion lead by three goals to nil. Um, I think his name is Kyle Bartley. But um, yes, he, he put the ball into the back of the net following a set piece. Um, it was a corner from their left hand side, um, which was whipped in and then headed on. Um, Bartley got onto the second ball and he just put it into the back of the net. Caballero was nowhere to be seen. But yes, again, poor defending from us. And it's a mountain to climb with less than half an hour played. But yes, West Bromwich Albion lead by three goals to no one. I really cannot believe what I'm seeing. There are less than 8 minutes plus additional time left at the end of the first half and to be honest with you guys this has been a half to forget for Chelsea. Tammy Abraham has a chance to pull one back for the Blues following a great cross from Rhys James down our right hand side but he skies it, he puts it over the bar. Not good enough. Not good enough guys, I hate to say it but it really hasn't been good enough in this first half. We are into two added minutes at the end of the first half, which has been dominated by West Bromwich Albion. Wow. It's half time, it's West Bromwich Albion 3, it's Chelsea 0. Not a good half by any means. We actually had more shots on goal than they did, but... Um, we weren't able to convert and defensively, my god, were we shocking. But yes, it can only get better in the second half and I will see you all very soon for the second half. The second half has just begun. Frank Lampard has made two changes at half time and they see um, Mateo Kovacic and Marcos Alonso go off for Saza Aspilicueta and Callum hudson -Odoi. But yes, come on Chelsea, just do whatever you can to make this look a lot less embarrassing than it is right now. But anyways, come on Chelsea. Just over nine minutes of the second half have been played. Chelsea have been doing a lot of attacking as you'd expect from a side that is 3-0 down and we have won a couple of corners but nothing came from either of them. But yes, um, there's still a long way to go but we really need to get the next goal and we really need the next goal soon. It's West Bromwich Albion 3, it's Chelsea 1, Mason Mount gets his first Premier League goal of the season and what a brilliant strike this was. Um, this was assisted by Cesar Aspilicueta as he gave the ball to Mason Mount um, from our left hand side and Mason Mount just ran up to the ball and smashed it into the back of the net. Chelsea have pulled on back. 
it's West Bromwich Albion 3, it's Chelsea 2, Callum hudson Odoi scores only his second ever Premier League goal and his first Premier League away goal and it was a brilliant move. Um, it started off with Rhys James giving the ball to one of our midfielders, I think it was Mason Mount, I'm not, in, I'm not entirely sure, it was either him or Saz Asplokwata, again I'll have to look at that. But um, he got the ball from midfield, he then gave it to Kai Havertz, then ran into space inside the box, got it back from Kai Havertz and slotted it home and yes Chelsea are back in the game, come on. Chelsea's third and final substitution sees Thiago Silva go off for Olivier Giroud. There are less than nine minutes plus additional time left at the end of the match. We are into five added minutes at the end of the match. It's West Bromwich Albion 3, it's Chelsea 3. Tammy Abraham puts the ball into the back of the net from close range following a corner. The ball was just going everywhere, but yes, um, the ball fell to Tammy Abraham and he just slotted at home and he certainly would have loved this one because of course he used to play for Aston Villa and if you don't know this already, West Bromwich Albion and Aston Villa do not like each other. But yes, it's 3-3 and with the way we've been playing for a fair portion of the second half, we thoroughly deserved it. It's full time, the final score is West Bromwich Albion 3, Chelsea 3. Disappointing, but... If you can't win a game, don't lose it. But yes, a brilliant second half fight back from us. And we, you can argue that we did deserve to win the game. But I will see you all very soon for my match review.